My name is KK Haina and I come from the Comoros, a small archipelago in the Indian Ocean. Look, this speech is addressed to my president, Excellency Dr. Ikili Lubanin. Comoros has a high number of animals and plants unique to the region, and it is one of the world's 25 hotspots for biodiversity according to Conservation International. But WWF ranks it among the 35 critical areas. 15% of our plants are endemic, and so are 11% of birds, with nine listed as endangered. Unfortunately, deforestation due, due to massive use of firewood as the main cooking fuel exacerbates the effects of climate change. Comoros has lost 85.3% of its forest cover between 1990 and 2005. 85%, that's a lot. And this represents a major threat to the natural habitat to many of these species and decreases biodiversity. Citizens need to be aware that besides bi biodiversity loss, climate change affects other important aspects of their lives, including their food security, their health, their housing, and the country's economy at large. The UNDP, along with a few local NGOs and civic societies, are currently working towards sustainable development and forest preservation. In parallel, the Ministry of Agriculture and Environment has shown interest by passing laws for biodiversity preservation. Now, the effort that needs to be made is, at this stage, is for all parties to work together towards enacting and implementing these laws. The only way citizens can be informed of the impacts of climate, the only way citizens can be informed of the impacts of climate change is through civic societies and NGOs who engage them on a daily basis and are therefore more likely to work efficiently with them. So my president, take the first step. Build the capacity of the relevant NGOs and let them raise awareness and promote the use of alternative cooking fuels like biomass briquettes, which are environment friendly and cost effective.